Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Writer's Corner, where today I talk about the need to respect the readers. Now when I say respect the readers, I'm not necessarily talking about the readers of script opportunities and competitions. I mean, you should be respected them regardless. That should be default settings. You should always respect them. But I'm actually talking about something way earlier in the process. What I'm talking about are the readers of the early drafts of your work. Now, when I say early drafts, I do not mean the first draft. No one but you should read your first draft. And even you shouldn't read your first draft straight after completing it. Once you finish a first draft, you should stick it in a drawer and not look at it for a week, two weeks. You need to come back to it fresh and ready to improve it. So yeah, in this video, when I'm talking about early drafts, I'm talking about drafts two, three and beyond. So these are the trusted individuals who can give you the constructive feedback that you need to improve your work. If you don't have these individuals yet, you've got to find them. These can be anyone. They can be family members, friends, colleagues, associates. Basically, they're people whose opinions, perspectives and tastes you value. They're bringing something to the table. They're bringing something valuable to your script. If you do have these individuals around you, cherish them, because they are so important. Basically, they will be honest and tell you things that will help your writing in a way that doesn't completely demoralize you or make you hate that project. Also, the way in which they give you that constructive criticism will make you want to share further drafts or projects with that person because you can feel your writing getting better as a result of hearing their thoughts. First things first, respect their time. Try not to chase or rush the readers. Everybody's got their own schedules, everybody's doing their own thing. Allow them the time to read it. So don't give your script to someone to read with a competition deadline like a week away and say, yeah, can you get this done in the next two, three days? I don't think that's very fair or realistic. I think the best way to go about it is to give them as much time as possible and not set a deadline. It's a good idea to ask the reader beforehand what their schedule is looking like. So you get a sense of when they're likely to have time to read it and when they're likely to have the time to get back to you and give their full thoughts. Maybe if you haven't heard from them in two, three weeks, send them a quick text just being like, what do you think of the scripts? Hashtag no rush. So you can check in, but just don't be pushy. Another thing to remember is that this reader is spending their time reading your script. And that time could be spent literally doing anything else. They could be reading a book. They could be watching a film. They could be reading somebody else's scripts. They could be writing their own scripts. Also, don't bombard them with multiple projects. It's kind of tempting when you've got someone who's read your script and they've given you feedback and it's good and you enjoy the process and they enjoy it and you want to be like well here's something else that I've got. They might feel like you're taking advantage of their time if you're giving them one script and another script and being like oh also read this and also read this and don't forget also read this. Yeah when you've got more than one script project go easy on giving them to that one reader. If they like your work they'll want to see what other scripts you can come up with, what other stories you can tell. But I would always stay away from giving them multiple scripts and going there you go. Let them have a look at one project at a time and give them a decent amount of time between projects. If you get into a rhythm like that and it works for you and it works for them, then keep it going. Another thing that you've got to remember when sending further drafts off a script to the same person is to act on the feedback that they've given you for previous drafts. I think it's really off-putting for a reader to get draft seven or eight of a project and it still has the same issues that they identified in drafts three or four. It will make them think that they're wasting their time, that you don't respect their opinion, or that you just plain ignored it. If you don't agree with a particular piece of advice on how to make your script better, I guess that's cool, but maybe don't send further drafts of that script to the person whose advice you don't agree with. Find another reader for that one. Respect their opinion. Take the reader's feedback in without challenging it. Now I know this can be difficult. You've created a story and someone is poking holes in it. But remember, you asked for their opinion. So they're going to tell you what they think. Don't sit there and go, well, you see what you said about this, this and this. 
I, I've actually got answers for that. And, and here they are, I'll, I'll, I'll list them off to you right now. What you can do is discuss certain points and suggest solutions. If there's a bit in the script that they don't quite get, maybe you can say, oh, well, what if this character did this? Or what if I input a scene where this happens? Remember, the reader is there to identify problems, but it's your job to come up with solutions on how to fix them. You can't just turn around to them and go, well, what would you do? Or how do I make this better? It's good to collaborate on ways to improve the script, but it has to be generated from you. Another thing to keep in mind is that the readers will see things that you can't. There might be a really great character or bit of dialogue that you absolutely love, but if the readers read the whole script and is like, I didn't really get that character or I get the point of the story without this scene, it's unnecessary, then it's something that you've got to consider letting go of. It's very difficult when you create to not be emotionally attached to certain parts of the story. And that's why having good readers around you is so important because they'll tell you what works for them as the audience and what doesn't. What can stay and what can go. What really is good and what is just really good to you. And sometimes you're just too close to a project. You think that you've explained something really well or that you haven't explained it enough and so you repeat yourselves in different ways. Sometimes you need someone with a fresh perspective to look at your work objectively and say, this, this and this isn't working. But I like this. If you're lucky enough to have multiple readers of your work, it could be good to set your own expectations from what you expect of each reader. Does the reader who's got a sense of humour you appreciate connect to the funny bits in your script? What does the reader who loves dramatic twists and turns think of the cliffhanger at the end of your script? Have areas of your script that you want to connect with certain people and certain readers and see if they actually do. If certain readers react to the parts of the script in the way that you want them to, I think you know you're onto a good thing. Finally, it might be a good idea to reciprocate. If the person who reads your work is also a writer or interested in writing, you should offer to read their work as well. Yes, it is a nice thing to do, but also reading other people's work and analysing it makes you a better writer. I always find it really interesting to see how other people write and also what stories they choose to tell. The more you read, the more you write, the better you get. Plus, you'll be helping out someone who's helped you out. If you can find a group of other writers and readers and share your work together, it's a really enjoyable experience. And as I said, you'll be helping each other out and improving each other's work. And who knows, maybe you'll collaborate together in the future as well on bigger and better projects. So yeah, that's my thoughts on respecting the readers. I'm gonna be doing a lot more Writer's Corner videos, so make sure you subscribe and watch out for those. Also, let me know in the comments if there are areas on script writing that you want me to talk about. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.